Okay, so um, this is a new time-saving feature that we've added to Exam Screen, which is hopefully going to help with some of those really annoying administrative tasks that you have to do um, in the build-up to exams. So this new feature is linked to the external exams um, tab here. So I've just clicked on on that. Um, so this is where you, if you're an experienced user of Exam Screen, you'll know that you set up all your qualifications. You tick off the ones that your schools do so that your exams then appear on the screen for exam screen but we're going to now use this information to do a little bit more and hopefully um, to help you complete some of those longer tasks that you have to do a bit more quickly so if you look in the top right hand corner here you'll see this new button which says export TT and SPE TT just stands for timetable and SPE stands for second pair of eyes check so I'm just going to click on that and you'll see it brings up this button here um, now, this, uh, these dates will, when you open it for the first time, these dates will just be blank. So I'm just going to blank them quickly. And um, I'm going to add in dates here, some date parameters. Now, you could do this to incorporate your exams for the whole year. So if someone is asking you right now, can you give me a timetable for the entire year of exams? You could do that. You could start you know, from the beginning of September and go all the way through to July. Um, I'm just going to do it for the summer exam. So I'm going to go to May 2025 and just use the 1st of May um, and then go to uh, July 2025 and use the 1st of July like that. So you can put you need to put a name in for, for this period. So I'm going to call it summer 2025. And here you can tick your... Um, your sessions, your exam sessions. So I've ticked AM and PM. Evening sessions is really only for um, people who do Cambridge International exam. So most of you will probably leave that blank. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to click export and that will pull all of my exams from the exam screen database into this Excel document. So if you look down the bottom of this, you'll see that there are two tabs. One is called Detailed and one is called SPE. So we're going to look at SPE first, which is the second pair of eyes check. So if I scroll up to the top here, you'll see that the information it's put in for you is taken from exam screen. So your centre number and your school name, which is required there. Uh, and then um, the dates of all the exams, session time so obviously you'd have to fill in the specific time that you do the check but it will indicate here whether it's going to be a.m. or p.m. and then also the exam title with the code okay and the awarding body um, obviously there's the rest of the information you will populate at the time as you normally would but I think this is quite a big time saver so it's going to put in there all my exams for the summer season now obviously this document isn't just going to be completely static it's a bit of a living document so you know you might find that a qualification you end up not doing it so you would need to go in and delete those rows if you look at something like this I've got GCSE Turkish so from exam screen it's going to pull both the foundation and the higher papers now it may be that you only have students doing higher you've only entered students for higher so in that case you might want to take the foundation papers and delete them so it's not that you can just export this and then just assume that it's going to be absolutely perfectly tailored there will be some small things that you have to do for example this history exam this incorporates a range of different papers so I would want to put in the one that my school specifically does um, things like that that you just need to go through just check it but in terms of the way it pulls the all the exams out and puts them into the right format I think it's a big it's a big time saver now the only other thing you'll need to do with this is print it. So the way you do that is just grab all the columns up to H and then come down way come down to your last exam. So there it is. So I've got there 152 rows. So um, then you go to page layout, print area, set print area, and then go file and print. And you'll see that it's laid it into a nice printing format for you. The one to check if it does ever get out of kilter is just this one down the bottom to make sure that you fit all columns on one page. Um, and then you can see you can just print that out. That's then your second pair of eyes check done. Um, obviously, you've, we've, some of you will have November exams coming up. So if you set your date parameters um, to just show November, then it will pick up, um, pick up your exams for the November season.
Okay, so that's the second pair of eyes check. If I go into the detailed um, tab, then I will get a full timetable. So here it's just everything's laid out into columns. It's done a bit of formatting for you. So it puts your logo in, it puts your school name and your timetable name in with whatever title you've given um, that series of, of data when you exported it. Um, and then it lists all your exams. And similar with the second pair of eyes check, really, you just need to do a kind of idiot check on the exams that are listed, take out anything that you don't need, um, you know, remove any sort of tiered exams that you not, might not be using. The example that I gave with the Turkish exams, um, same thing applies. Um, same thing applies to your, for example, your history exams as well, making sure that you're honing in on the right option. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's pulling out information uh, in a way that you can then use. And once again, at this time of year, at the start of the school year, um, if somebody wants the whole year of exams, you just set your date parameters differently and you can publish all the exams for the whole year. Um, and to be able to do that, say in September or early October is a really, really potentially really, really useful thing. So I hope that's um, a kind of useful new addition to exam screen. If anyone's got any sort of uh, ways that they think this could be adapted or improved, I'd, I'd be delighted to hear about it. Um, but please enjoy using this.